Hello students. Uh, lately, I have been getting a lot of questions regarding University of Delhi admissions. How to go about admissions? What are the process and all? So I have gathered a lot of information regarding the same. Uh, still, I will say this is a brief guideline which I am giving to you. So please listen to me carefully. And uh, basically. University of Delhi offers seven categories such as number one unreserved category, number two SC, number three ST, then we have EWS, PWD, Kashmiri migrants and OBC. Right? Seven. Whereas I will be putting emphasis on the categories of OBC. EWS, PWD because other uh, certificates are simple. You don't have to do much about the certificate of SC, certificate of SC and unreserved is general category. So no problems regarding that. Right. So just think of uh, the category. If you belong to OBC category, then you have to produce a latest certificate from the competent authority and which will show you that you are in non creamy layer and preferably after 31st of March of that year. Suppose the academic session 21-22 is starting. So a certificate which has been given to you after 31st March 2021 will be applicable and that will only be valid because every year the creamy layer gets revised. So if you fall in creamy layer, you will not be eligible for that reservation. If you are non-creamy layer student, then only your form will be entertained as OBC category. Right? Then coming down to EWS, that is the recent addition in the categories that is economically weaker section. This is created by the government of India for those people who are financially or economically underserved and they can't afford admissions. So that is why to make things easier for them, this quota has been created. In that case, if you fall in EWS category, you have to produce a certificate by the competent authority or given by the SDM that will tell us about your family income all right so that is that all right now coming down to the category of persons with disability that is pwd many people are confused when this category comes they come with a form which is inadequate they come with a certificate which is not adequately signed by the competent authorities. One single doctor cannot give you that kind of certificate. Certificate of disability needs to be signed by the board certified doctors where three members have to be there and they should sign with their respective seal and stamps and that will be valid for the persons with disability. All right. People say, okay, ma'am, I have got it from this, 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 and this has got doctor's signature. That will not work. Number one, it has to be from the government hospital. Number two, it, has, it should be duly signed by a panel. Panel consists of three doctors and doctor's signature with C will work. Then people who are facing uh, learning disability problems, they can have certificate from uh, AHVAS, that is Institute of Human Behavior and Allied Sciences. They will give you learning disability certificate and they talk in terms of mild, moderate and severe symptoms. If you have mild learning disability, moderate learning disability, you will get admission by producing the adequate certificate. Right? Now, a few words regarding uh, students with background of armed forces and foreign students. These students can 
go to the headquarter that is office of university of delhi and from the concerned department they can get a provisional admission slip only then they will be provided as admission in the various colleges or whichever college they have chosen or they have selected right so students who belong to armed forces or foreign students their admission will be given on the basis of a provisional admission slip issued by the concerned department of delhi university is that all clear to you so now i hope many confusions have been sorted out you are no more confused regarding these process so happy learning bye